Hello YouTube, it's William here with Gover Not Just Trains, and today we're taking a look at the Pennsylvania Railroad M1A, made by Broadway Limited Imports. The PRR's M1 and M1A class are 482 mountain type steam locomotives. The prototype was first built in 1923, and the overall class saw a total production run of approximately 400 units. Hailed as one of the best dual service units that the railroad had ever produced, the M1A, M1B, and M1 class saw favorable reception from those driving said trains. The M1A is brought to us in a very faithful and accurate representation by Broadway Limited Imports. Looking at the pilot, we can see some of its characteristic speed water heater detail, as well as the smoke box mounted headlight. In addition to the absolute plethora of detail included on the model, many premium features make this engine well worth the price tag. It comes equipped with a QSI decoder, or Quantum Sound Incorporated decoder, smooth gear drive, accurate detailing, crisp lettering, and a host of other features that will all be exemplified in the following shots. My model, number 6743, is an absolute joy to run and behold. We'll get into some of the more subjective aspects of the review in just a moment. As exemplified in these shots, the model sports an incredible variety of separately applied and cast in detail. The whole package really does look great, especially when it's in motion on the tracks. Coupled with the smooth gear drive and QSI decoder, this is a really irresistible package. Here you can see the smoothness and intricacy of the running gear as the engine rolls past. It looks absolutely fantastic. Behind the engine is a set of IHC River Rossi passenger cars. Now let's talk about my thoughts on the locomotive. I received this engine in a trade for some repair work done on one of my friend's models, and I couldn't be happier, even if I had paid the original price tag. It is absolutely gorgeous, as these overhead shots, running shots, and static shots will show you. However, there are a couple features that make it painfully obvious that this is one of Broadway Limited's earlier models, the QSI decoder being chief among them. Starting speed can be a tad high at times, especially for a DCC sound equipped model, and some would call the decoder's sound and effects slightly antiquated for today's day and age. I personally don't mind. QSI decoders often get a bad rap for being some of the earliest, most difficult to work with, and generally unreliable decoders. However, I found that the sound is incredibly well matched to the engine in this case, and have no complaints. It sounds absolutely gorgeous, and the engine runs well enough. Another of my favorite features on this locomotive is the ease of volume adjustment. The potentiometer is simply located under a tender hatch, as opposed to being CV programmed. If I had to give a subjective review score, this locomotive would be a 9 out of 10 for me. The sound system is wonderful, even if it's a bit antiquated and simple. The detail is phenomenal, and the engine runs very smoothly and very quietly. Coming up next, we're going to demonstrate the sounds and sights of the locomotive in operation, and then that'll be it for the video. I want to preemptively thank you guys so much for watching, rating, commenting, and subscribing. I really hope you enjoy the upcoming shots of the engine. This being my first DCC review, there are a lot of things that I've left out, but I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. Again, if you'd like to see more of the locomotive's detail, please refer to the previous shots, and I hope you enjoy the sights and sounds of the M1A in operation.